Before we begin, I want to address something that we've encountered in certain parts of the book. And in order to do so, I'm just going to read an article. It's on the dynamics of composite linguistic analysis with special attention given to the occurrence of phonological dissonance and irregularity. It was written by Harold Poindexter in the American Journal of Phyology. <coughs> it's the, in the third edition of the Brackney Hughes Hall Elias Paragenes Progressus concerning the citation to variant reading, excuse me, <coughs> on page 16, they assigned the letter D. D being the lowest grade means the committee found that it's very highly doubtful that the pronunciation of the word in question is slew <laughs> instead of the almost universally accepted slough. So research indicates that the gloss originates with a group of scholars known as the redneck theologians. <laughs> a group that has its origins in the Sacramento area of California. <laughs> so although brilliant in their own right, the redneck theologians employed a regional dialect which gave rise to their name and caused them on occasion to mispronounce words that resulted in the corrupt text of some of the more recent manuscripts. Moreover, notwithstanding, all current notwithstanding that all current research thoroughly discredits this pronunciation, the error persists in those circles where the sway of this school remains. A curious but perhaps enlightening fact is that the redneck theologians as a, as a group the skewed reading the great classical literature, and here we are referring specifically to the Lord of the Rings, and opted instead to devote themselves to the...